Please permit me to greet you as I would greet my students, where they're primary, high school, COB students, everywhere. But if I greet you the way I greet them, I need you to respond with the same vim, vigor, and vitality. Promise? All right, now. Good morning, TV Bethel! Ah, suck it, suck it. Like it? Am I really in the Stingray's territory this morning? Nah, nah. I'm not quite convinced of that just yet. But I have a way to figure out if I'm in the right place. See, I'm gonna ask you a few questions and I need you to respond in the affirmative. Just say, oh yeah, but you gotta say, oh yeah. Like them old Cat Island people, you gotta say, oh yeah. You gotta say it with some spout tape. Oh yeah. Now when I ask you the question, say, oh yeah. And my drummer give me some tune. Oh yeah. And let's keep them, I need the beat. Okay, they're ready. Are you the school of choice for all? Oh, yeah. Could the studies are with basketball? Oh, yeah. With a good debating team? Oh, yeah. Carrying on like lawyers on the scene? Oh, yeah. You set the standard in performing arts? Oh, yeah. Band and choir, both they off the charts? Oh, yeah. The school of excellence? Oh, yeah. Teachers with finesse and eloquence? Oh, yeah. Simply everything you ace? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm in the right place. Oh, yeah. that I'm in the right place. I think I'm at Stingrays. Give yourselves a round of applause, Stingrays. Yes, I'm in front of me. Breaking barriers to excellence, wow. This is a power pack thing that deserves several hours. Get comfortable. No, I'm just kidding. But I won't do that to you. For those of you who are already accustomed to receiving your advance organizers from to know what's going on in the lesson, or maybe you receive your objectives, list of objectives like you do in Miss Smith's stimulating language lessons. Ask me how I know. Let me say then, and let me give you an advanced organizer. It is my desire at the end of my little 12 minute talk <coughs> that you will be able to recall and apply a simple three part equation, a three part formula. Cool? All right, so listen out for the three parts, all right? Now, as soon as I thought of the word barriers, a visual of bars came to mind, especially the ones that they use at John Canoe. You know, they put them up there to keep others from, you know, joining the parade. That's how I like to say it. They let, they're there to keep you from joining the parade. So it made me start thinking, do you really have barriers that keep you from joining the parade of life? Do you have barriers that keep you from succeeding? Hmm. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that so many of the barriers are, they're really mental. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's mental, you know. <laughs> now be careful how you say it. I don't want you to say, they mental. <laughs> all right, all right. Just make sure you say the right thing now. Honestly, there are lots of things that hold us back, but they start in our minds. You know what I'm talking about. The barrier of low self-esteem. Uh, I, I can't wear pants because because I don't want anybody to see my knock me. <laughs> the barrier of people's expectations. Well, my parents then tell me I better get a job because ain't nothing happening for me otherwise. You know, the barrier of well, perceived of financial yeah. lack. Chewing, chewing. My peeps don't have money for me to go to college, so why bother? The barrier of past hurts and feelings. Boy, I ain't trying that again. I remember what happened the last time, but psh, psh, ain't no one gonna embarrass me. The barrier of your own environment. Well, you see where I live? What you expect, what? You expect anything different? Everybody around here doing that. The barrier of excuses and negative thinking. I can't do that because, and you fill in the blank. You get the point, right? Yeah. And believe it or not, these are just examples I got from my own life. I know what y'all on. My own life. See, I'm a PPP too. I'm a proud product of the public school system. I'm a PPP. Well, 
I want you to know what why it's, it's amazing because a lot of people think it's always outside but it's inside you know Les Brown says if we could take care of the enemy within the enemy without kid do you know how turn to the next day but say it's mental so, I gotta think it's mental because why is it that human beings are the only created things that don't always rise to their highest potential Put your hand on your chin and say, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I want you to think about that. How, how is it, how tall can a tree grow? How tall will a tree grow? As, as high as it possibly can, right? How much would food would an a, a, would a ant collect? As much as it possibly can. But human beings stuff themselves short. Everything else created rises to their full potential potential except human beings. Wow. How much will you achieve? Would you think about Stingrays, CV Bethel Senior High? Would you think about you bring about? You know that? That's why the Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. Because thoughts become things. Now I don't want to get too deep, but I can't help it because I was told I'm in Stingray territory, so I gotta come tough somehow. I gotta give it to you real. Thoughts become things. See, just before I got here, I bumped into something that became things. It was a shootout right there at Jordan Princeville. That's why I was delayed. Bullets all over the car, yellow tape across. Right there on the corner of Jordan Princeville. Broad daylight. Someone had it in their mind and now that thought became a thing. Not a good thing, but it became a thing. Just a few minutes ago. Well, let me give you a side tip here. Whatever you desire, I don't care how small it is. It could just be some money so you could treat your bamboo shack. Or it could be as elaborate as you want to be an international jewelry designer. Whatever it is, I want you to marinate on the thought. I want you to visualize it. Visualize it every day and put some emotions behind it. Don't just think about it. Put some, I mean, make it feel like it actually happening. You all know how to do that, hey? Ask your parents, they know how to do it very well. We act as if, as if it's already happened. All right? So if you don't like what you see, if you don't like what you've been seeing, then check out what you've been thinking. This right here is a powerful tool, guys. This brain. It, it's more than just absorbing information, you know, but it's also for creating. Not just taking in, but also materializing what's in there. Turn again and say, it's mental. So guard your mind, guard your mind. That's the first part of the formula is mindset. This means you should watch what's going in through your ears, your eyes, your mouth, everywhere. I'm sure you remember the Sunday school song. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. For oh, the father up above is looking down and then the love. Oh, be careful little eyes what you see. Uh -huh. You all never thought a Sunday school song could sound so good, eh? I know some of y'all don't want to say because y'all anyone, anyone, they all, they all know that kind of tune. But that particular song is so, so true. You got a, you got a God. Like Medea says, Medea talk about cling, cling. Y'all got a cling, cling to we eye. Cling, cling over your ear, cling, cling here to everywhere. You got to be careful. Huh? So one quick tip to watch your, watch your associations, man. You got to watch who you're hanging for. You hear this all the time, eh? I didn't come to say anything new. I'm sorry to voice your bubble. You heard it all the time from your teachers. I know your teacher's telling you it. That's the reason why CP Bethel is always in the news for good things, because I know your teacher's telling you it. You're telling you it. Okay. But watch your associations. The next A is watch your affirmations. What are you saying to yourself? That's affecting your mind, you know. I know I've been there, man. I was not always the sharpest tool in the shed, you know. I struggled through school, too. And then one day, all of a sudden, they say, head girl, I say, what? <laughs> you serious? No. no. But it took a little turning around, because it wasn't always there. So there's hope, y'all. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm Trust me on it. So say the first one for me is mindset. Mindset. That's the first part of the formula. Once we have our head on straight, then it's time to take action. I mean, what's the sense of working on the mind if you don't have any moves, eh? You gotta have some moves. Yeah. Even the young children's ring play. Say, come show me your motion. 
Mind your soul with it. Huh? Well, my drum, what? And you know, you are my favorite instrument, right? Everyone got it. They looking for something. They say, show some sign. So you can't have it or say you have it all to get up here and there's nothing to show it on the ground. So you gotta have some motion. Get busy, get into action. Don't just say you wanna change, start changing. A little at a time. I'm not talking about major things, you know, a little at a time. Now this brings me to the second part of my three part equation and that's habits. Let me hear you say it. Habits. So the first part was mindset, the next one is habits. Get busy with creating the right habits, C.D. Bethel. A story is told of a man who's riding on this horse and this horse is going real fast and he looks real busy. You know those kind of people who they always look like they're in the summer, they ain't in the night, right? Okay, he just riding this, riding this horse. And the person on the sideline said, boy, where are you going? He said, I don't know, ask him. So he stopped the man and asked him, say, hey, 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 wait, where are you going, where are you going? The man turned around without even, he said, I know, ask the horse. <laughs> but isn't that just like us? We are on the backs of habits and it's taking us somewhere. And we don't know where to go. Bad habits. I mean, we just go, we, we don't know where you're going. Ain't doing your homework. Ain't studying. Where you going? I know. You can't know. You can't be riding on the back of, of the horse of bad habits and don't know where you, you obviously don't know where you're going. But that's us, you know. And I'm glad we have some parents here too, because we, we the blame too. We got some bad habits, we know we do. Huh? How much TV shows we watched last night before we went to bed? <coughs> anyway, so let's get busy creating the right habits, all right? The right habits. Stop the gossiping. Huh? Let, let, let's let, stop cussing people out every time you see them. Huh? If a word try to fly up in here, try a different language. Sha la 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 la. Uh huh. Try another language, all right? Try a different habit. Now, don't get me wrong now, we all have positive habits too, you know. I'm not just speaking to just the back. We have positive habits that we're writing too. And these we need to feed every day in our everyday routine. In fact, research actually shows that 95% of everything that we feel, think, and achieve is a direct result of learned habits. Yeah, we brush our teeth, uh -huh. we take a bath, we eat wholesome meals, but what kind of habits would you need to, to break through the barriers holding you back from excellence? Say, hmm, something to think about. What kind of habits do you need then? Studying regularly, yeah, might be a good place to start. I'm sure you can think of a whole long list, right? Yeah, you see, habits reflect what you value. Habits reflect what you value. If you value smelling good, then you can take a bath every day, right? Uh -huh. right. Well, hopefully. <laughs> if you value having your teeth for a long time, I'm not talking about the ones we have to push in there. You value having your own teeth for a long time, then you're not gonna have a problem brushing and flossing. But here's the tip, just brush and floss the ones you wanna keep, okay? Yeah. Just the ones you want to keep. So we don't have any problems with some good habits, but I'm going to ask you to jump into making a huge 180 degree turn. Just the small things. Do you know that if a plane is on the ground and it's trying to head to Miami, if the nose of that plane is on the ground and it's slightly off and they get up, they can actually, in the air, go off 150 miles off course. If they're on, You can't see it on the ground, but just a slight 1% off they can end up 150 miles from where they want it to be. So if they don't make the adjustments while they're in the air, they can end up the wrong place. That's all I'm asking you to make is the small adjustments. Now, if you think small adjustments don't make a big deal, I want you to listen to this. And I'm glad we have a few there. I, I need this side here. I'm gonna read some facts to you real quick. And when I read the fact, I want this the first, first side here to say, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I need this side over here to say, seriously? seriously? Uh huh. The ones in the, in the back there, I want you to say, stop it. Mm -hmm. We have a bit over here, I want you to say, for real? Oh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ready? Let me hear you say, for real? Okay. And my man, I know y'all ready. I say, well, models. Okay. <laughs> Now, I hope you remember the words. Okay, good. Here we go. This is what I want you all to realize. It's the small things that make a difference. Every year, buffaloes kill seven people. No. 
make a difference. Don't tell me the small habits won't make a difference. As I wrap up, as I wrap up, you've got to replace these bad habits with some positive ones. Just make some small corrections. This brings me to the last part of my equation, and that is excellence. Say it for me. Excellence. We are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act. It's a habit, Aristotle. I want to challenge you to, to do these little habits with excellence. Whatever you decide to get doing, get busy doing. Don't just get in the habit of doing your homework, but present it neatly. Don't just participate more in class, but do it respectfully. Excellence requires that you go the extra mile. Excellence requires that you go the extra mile. In fact, you have to exceed expectations for you to excel. You gotta go. And you know, it's all about attitude. You can walk in here, and you can walk in class a certain way, and then you can walk with attitude. You know what I'm talking about with attitude. Sometimes it's not so good, but excellence has a certain spirit about it. It's a spirit of excellence. So you gotta do things, but do them exceptionally well. All right? And that's the final component of my formula, which is habits plus mindset times excellence equals Whatever you desire, whatever you desire. In fact, let me end by putting it this way. It's the best way I know how. But see, you could have whatever you desire, whatever you like. And remember, habits, say it for me, habits, habits. plus mindset, plus times excellence, times excellence. equals whatever you desire all right so if we can get a little bit more volume i'm going to put it in a way that hopefully you would remember it uh-huh notice i think ti's version is a little bit better what you say yeah. habits plus mindset times excellence that's all you need to make sense you could have whatever you like <laughs> you could have whatever you like yeah. I gotta take it up. Here we go. Yeah. Habits plus mindset times X. You ready now? Let me see if you remember the formula. Habits plus mindset. We can do it together. That's all you need to make sense. 
Yes.